Welcome back everyone. In this PAL 900, that is the certification for Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals, we're going to talk about the lab number 8 on Power Virtual Agent. My name is Riju and here is my Twitter handle. So let's jump into it. So the Power Virtual Agent, unlike other Power platform component doesn't really uh, live here in this portal it's a power app maker portal it's a separate one so you will find the power virtual agent in this menu so if we say agent or you can just type something like here power VA microsoft.com and it opens the power virtual agent window so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go ahead and create a new bot Let's give a name as COVID FAQ okay and then I just give a name English and then the environment I select this and I say create so my power virtual agent will get created while it gets created I want to walk you through some content that is the the CDC that is Centers for Disease Control and Prevention portal where they have a dedicated FAQ site for COVID so all all things you need to know about COVID and it's really really large set of information you can see that uh, there has so many questions so if you let's say want to build something out of this and then create this create a bot like interface where people come and ask question and they get answer instead of going into the portal and searching for it you can do that from this source so we will use this FAQ page as our input source to the power virtual agent we are creating so you can see that the COVID FAQ bot got created now we do not have any data so we can just say hello and it's gonna show you like the, the information now you can see that something is pre-built coming up here so I'm gonna go to the topic and see what all topics we have one of them is greetings I can modify how the greeting would look like so when someone says hello I want to go there and change the behavior so I'll say hi I am a virtual agent to help you with all the information you need to protect yourself against COVID-19 okay and then you say save what happens it saves now next time when you come back and say hello just reset it and say hello it will give you a different output so this is how you change but you can see that now the my message is showing up here so what I wanted to do is that I wanted to bring in that FAQ but when you have so much of information you can bring that in under suggested and then you say that um, new topic you can do that or let's say I go here get started click on this paste the URL and say add and start so it has got, got around 200 um, questions over there so it'll bring them all into these topics 
right and suggested and I can just move them from the suggested to the topic and then enable them for my bot inter interactivity so you can see that I do not have to manually enter the data the data is already there in the portal in form of a HTML page so I can use that URL to bring that data into the system right and then I can add the topic to the list so you will see once this is loaded right it will take some minutes once this is loaded they will all be coming in this suggested as something around 200 right if there is no error and in terms of reading it you can also also use other document types to bring this data from so let's just wait for a couple of minutes uh, while it is getting loaded I wanted to also uh, walk you so let's just stay here and then I go in another window maybe and then I open this power virtual agent and show you a couple of things I'll just observe this yeah it's still working so just keep an eye on that and then you go to the manage right you see that there are a couple of options you can do in the manage so you can change the icon of the of the bot how it look like what all channels you want to expose this to so for example you have got teams demo website you can just use the website and then embed that so whenever somebody using browser they can see the, the small pop-up coming from the bottom right corner you can also enable the security for example who can use what is the authentication authorization etc required now you can see that there are 430 topic suggestions okay and then what I see I add them and say add to topics okay I go down and see if there is any paging option available okay you can see that now all the 200 topics getting added to this 12 topics default topics and you'll see the increase in number right you might find some errors but you'll see the increase in number like right now from 12 it has become uh, 29 so let's say I search COVID and then I see a couple of them I change this to on 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 and then switch on just for testing I uh, say this student okay so just remembering that and what I can do I can just reset that while it is just doing the thing I can say COVID-19 if I just type that let's see what it comes sorry not able to find the related topic can you rephrase and try it again okay let's say student COVID I'm not typing the right sentence so just checking if something is happening at this point in time so I say no so I probably look into it and I copy the whole question friendly name student you can do all sort of things huh? okay so I'll just copy the whole question it will be enter ah uh, yeah you can see that it's just now trying to do that so I have tried so you can add a trigger face student and then say save the topic so you can just change how the topic would look like so I give some once you every time you get topic changed it basically refreshes that 
you can see that it's coming the thing is coming so if you type student the question will be answered this question will be answered so it's sort of like a keyword or intent you want to enable to so if you go back and then go to the topics again you'll see that there are around um, 195 thing but I did not enable a couple of uh, all of them so probably I will say I want to enable something which is related to should I wear a mask okay so if I just say yes enable this and now I to switch it on should I wear a mask and then I say should I wear a mask and then I enter uh, did not answer the question yeah okay so you can see that it's it's coming up that looks something okay for me right so I say yes and then I just give some feedback so it it captures all the detail I if I get the right thing I give the right rating if it is not then I will say no so I'll come back come out and say so this is just a testing you are doing right and then you can just track what exactly happens when you ask these questions for example if you say hello and then this is the initial greeting and then once you say hello it shows you what exactly happens in the back and what is the workflow it runs and where it lands to right so if you let's say answer so what can I help you today if you add like ask a question call for an action so you can build those things by yourself so let's say if you um, say I am very angry and I want to speak to somebody so then they can actually take a call to make a call to one of the the human agent and then you can speak to that person so you can do all those stuff over here uh, you can you have seen how to change the topic um, like uh, I have changed the text in the greeting right so all those things are fine now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to the publish and I say publish and I hit OK so this is gonna go ahead and publish uh, the content right once this is published you can either use one of these channels or you can use the demo website demo website is easy because it opens in the browser and you can see the demo website pops up okay I just close this but I go to the manage and go inside channels and then I go to the demo website I can configure the demo website so I can say say hello I can even add this thing here manually some of the preloaded question student uh, I think I can should I wear a mask so all these things which generally people would be asking instead of they typing the the whole thing you can just let it be available in the page itself so if I just open the URL it now opens with those preloaded things so you can have many more so I say hello I don't need to time it's quite helpful and then I say I'm a student I just use the student and it see just the answer comes up I say should I wear a mask and it gives me answer I can say something out of the box let's say COVID 19 if it doesn't find it will not say anything so you will find all these things basically um, showing up here sorry I didn't answer your question um, now so you keep giving those feedbacks right uh, rephrase and then you see that it's just go ahead I'm listening so I am a student if I say that what is the intent ah okay so you can see that even if I have that word present it comes up so you can just play around with it and see different options available here 
right so you can even host it in teams slack and all these different channels so I'll show you that option if you go into channels you see all the supported channels here listed so you can ha even have Facebook so if you have a business and then you want to run something like that you can just run you can get like uh, Azure FAQ or let's say Power Platform FAQ and then bring them into this Power Virtual Agent and then host it like this page right so you can build many more different things into this you can also come back and see how they are working so a little rough uh, background check on things which you are working on so whether people are really getting what they're they are supposed to get so this is kind of like a dashboard for you built using Power BI which talks about uh, we do not have enough data we just created just now so you won't find a lot of things so you will find the customer satisfaction sessions billing and all these details coming up right how, how popular your thing is and then you can see that um, you have different entities right and the topics you can keep adding topics but there is a limit how many topics you can add right now we had 12 earlier existing topic we pulled in from a portal it came as 200 and we added all of them so it became 212 topics right and then you can see them in that so you can just open it in a bot uh, if you have that installed in your machine right uh, it just uh, shows up in that bot so you can do that a quick check in the bot uh, install bot as well so with this I want to do end here and hope you have enjoyed this talk on power virtual agent building bot using power virtual agent thank you